The Canadian Federation of Independent Business says many businesses rely on rail services to send and receive goods and that the rail stoppage would be devastating for them. Canadian Pacific Kansas City and Canadian National Railway face the potential of a work stoppage on Thursday. Dan Kelly, president and CEO of the CFIB, joined us earlier to expand on the impacts a rail strike would have on small businesses in Canada. Uh, we have an unprecedented scenario about to unfold in Canada where both major railways uh, may, be st- may be halted for, for similar reasons at the same time. Uh, This has never happened in Canada before, and it's deeply worrisome for for small and medium-sized firms who depend often on rail to get their goods out of Canada or into Canada. Uh, This is coming at a terrible time when businesses are already in pretty rough shape, uh, coming out of uh, some very turbulent economic times, uh, and there's just not a lot of capacity in the system to accommodate any kind of even short-term disruption to the rail service. We're already starting to see the impact, even with the hint of of a strike or lockout uh, on the railways. Uh, Many rail companies have already started to to halt uh, any shipment of hazardous goods or perishable goods uh, just in the advent of of a potential job action. Uh, On top of that, we do know that even a short-term strike or lockout has a long tail effect. Uh, a week of disruption could be could require six to eight weeks before the system is back to normal, uh, just because the di- disruption really, uh, compi- you know, sort of just multiplies on itself. Um, there are all sorts of goods that are shipped by rail. It's not just commodities getting out of Canada. There's lots of consumer goods that come into Canada or have rail as part of their journey. I've just been receiving examples from small business owners uh, as as we speak. Um, uh, you know, a, a company that brings in fuel from Winnipeg to Toronto, and then that aviation fuel is used uh, to to help fuel uh, uh, planes that that fight forest fires. Uh, that would be disrupted by this. We've had uh, uh, you know shipments that are already being diverted away from the port of Halifax uh, in just for the fear of a potential job action on on the railways, consumer goods, including things like baby formula uh, that may not make it to to their destination. Uh, So consumers will start to see this very, very quickly if a job action happens. Our our worry is is significant. Um, We are, are right now in a really perilous a state for many small businesses. We've come out of, uh, you know, multiple years of pandemic restrictions. Uh, so businesses are, are deeper in debt than ever, just having to have survived the last number of years. Uh, the economy has been pretty flatlined over the last little while, uh, and fears of a recession even in advance of the rail strike are there. Um, you know, we started to see some glimmers of hope in the horizon, but we've just not been able to get back to any kind of normal uh, in the Canadian economy for for multiple years in a row. And so adding this to the list of uncertainties is not good. Uh, longer term, Canada is increasingly becoming an unreliable place to do business. Uh, this you know, we just aren't seeing a, a rail strike, but we saw port strikes last year. Uh, and and international companies are starting to say, does it make sense to operate in Canada? Can we rely on the Canadian transportation network? Uh, That's not a good thing for, for our international reputation or for jobs in Canada.